Tryouts. Hi everyone, I'm Yi Hui. And I'm Shen. And welcome to CAC Tryouts. For today, we have our very own Wushu team. Wushu was formally established as an independent club in 2003. I also heard that they participated in many, many activities and competitions such as the annual Invitational Traditional Wushu Championship where they held the championship title for the past two years. Wow, that is so impressive. Eh? I also heard that Coach He Jin was a former Singapore national coach and has been coaching in NTU for the past 10 years. Wow, 10 years? That's a really long time. I'm sure they must be damn pro under such a good coach. Freaking pro lor. Are you excited for some Wushu moves? I'm excited, but... I'm not really ready, but it's okay. Let's do it. Hi, I'm Sean Tion and I'm Sean Peck. And we are from Wushu. Maybe a little bit more about myself. I've been learning Wushu since I was in Premier 2. That's about 14 years of experience in the field. And when I first started Wushu, I didn't really enjoy the sport. But eventually, as I persevered throughout secondary school, I started to get better at the sport and eventually developed a love and passion for it. Hi, I'm Sean Peck. And uh, unlike Sean over here, I actually started Wushu relatively late, which was in JC. And I also had the luck of having very caring coaches. And under their tender loving care, I actually uh, found myself learning and knowing more and more about Wushu. Hello Sean, so uh, thank you for coming down today. Before we begin, we would like to ask you some questions. So how is a typical session in Wushu like? Oh, okay, so a typical session in Wushu usually lasts around three hours. So it's split into a few components. So in the first part, we will be doing some basic warm-up exercises and we actually play this game called Captain's Ball as a form of warm-up for the participants. Then after that, we'll move on to the basic uh, kicks and jumps. In the last part of the training session, we will be doing routine practice for different participants. And before we end off the training session, we usually have a, a physical training session. So in these PT sessions, uh, we will do things like core exercises, arm exercises, or even leg exercises. Mm. Uh, usually for our trainings, it will take place from uh, Mondays, 7 to 10, and the same timing on Thursdays. For today, what challenges have you guys prepared for us? So today we will be mainly doing three challenges, which are very beginner friendly. So the first challenge that we have for you is the Mapu challenge. The second one that we have for you is uh, Upu Chen, which is a very basic routine that all beginners will go through. And lastly, we'll also be teaching you some broadsword or Tao basics. So for the first challenge, uh, Sean Tiong will be the one teaching you guys the Mapu. So first, we'll be doing some basic stretching exercises, slowly reach for your toes. As long as you feel the stretch, then it's fine. Okay, then now you can straighten your back leg. Uh. Now that counter. Yeah, it's counter, counter. Don't bend your front leg. Yeah. Uh, he's doing quite well. Slowly, ah. Uh when we start from young, like, like the coach will just sit like on top here. Huh? And then he will just like force you down. What if your back break? As in, as then he pay for your hospital stay. <laughs> no, not really. La, like. <laughs> not really, you pay for your own hospital stay. As in, the back won't break. La. Your legs will break, la, but your back won't break. La. Is that any better? Uh, I don't know. Eh. Like that? Whoa. Yes. Really? So not counter because you, you put in front right? Oh yeah, geez. I can! Okay, just kidding, I can't. Okay, so the first kick that we are going to do today, right, is called the 正踢腿. Open your arms like this. Uh, not, not, not clap your hands, ah. Like, it's a, it's a pie like that. Like, yeah. Step forward and then you kick. Yeah. 外摆腿. Okay, which is an outward kick. Like this. Most importantly is to get the form correct, lah. So you can do like, like this as you can. Okay, but for those who are more flexible, I think, you can, you, can, I think you can try. Because <laughs> just now the speed, you like. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't want you to injure yourself. It's okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, so nice of you. Yes. Yes. Okay, very good, very good. The last one that we'll be doing today is called the Li He Tui. Yes, very good, very good. Okay, good, good. Uh, your back leg, try to straighten. Okay, but I think can lah for now, first day. So we'll be moving on to the challenges now. So Mapu right, is actually a stance that has been used in almost all of the routines in Ushu today. Put your hands on your hips. This thing is called Kai ma. So it's like opening to a horse stance from the standing position. One, two, three, four. And then you go down as if like sitting on a horse. And your back, keep it straight. So, okay, E. 
二、三、四。Okay, then go down. This challenge, right, is like a, a mini competition between both of you uh, to see who can hold the mapu stance the longest in the correct form. Uh. Okay, good. Your back straighter a bit. Yes. Okay, okay. okay. Oh. Good. Wow, face, yeah. Oh. Okay. So, yes. So, we have a winner. Winner is. Seven. Seven. Okay, so now, end of contest, we have the winner, which is. So our second challenge is the Upu Chen challenge. So Upu Chen is a very basic routine that all beginners have to go through when they first start learning Ushu. So it consists of five basic stunts which is Mapu, Gong Pu, Shi Pu, Xie Pu and Pu Pu. Okay, so the first move is a Pao Chen. Leave your hands up and down like this. It should be like this. Yes, good. Okay, good, good, passable. You kick. Okay, land ma pu. Then right hand, tong. Yes, correct. And then, so. So. Yes. Okay, that's the end of the routine. Yay. Yay. Quite amazed that you all can learn the entire routine in such a short time. Yeah, so hope you enjoyed the challenge. So now will be the third challenge, which is the broadsword or Tao in Chinese. So I'll be teaching you guys three basic actions using the Tao. The Zha Tao or a stabbing motion. Tao Hua, which is a flourish. Chan Tou Bo Nao. Okay, so for our first part of our challenge, it's going to be a Zha Tao, which is a step. So when I Zha, this is my starting position. When I Zha Tao, palm goes towards my right shoulder. And lastly, my right foot has twisted because I use it to drive some force into my stabbing. So let's give it a try. Okay, and Zha. Okay, so if you're doing the technique correctly, you can hear the very distinct uh, stabbing sound, which is very uh, very characteristic of a uh, typical Ushu performance. Okay. And go. Nice. It's your turn. Alright, we can move on to the next item, which is a uh, Chan Tou Po Nao. It's essentially a type of block where you use the sword to wrap around your upper torso and then the same way around. Okay. One thing to note, right, is that uh, for both safety reasons and performance reasons, right, We'll always try and keep the back of the sword, which is technically the non-cutting edge. We'll try and keep it towards ourselves, so we don't cut ourselves. So we'll start from the hub, and we'll bring it over our the back, okay, over our head. And then at the same time, our left palm will extend out. Yep, correct. And then we'll swing it back, lift our left palm up, and bring the sword to somewhere below our armpit. Okay, so now we'll go in the reverse direction. Okay, same thing. We'll bring the sword back. Cross it over our head. And then return to kind of like the same hugging position we were talking about just now. Okay, and then from here, normally we end with like a more theatrical pose. So I will close our legs together and then we'll strike like a pose. Okay, good. Mm hmm, mm, very nice. Like that. Yep. And hug yourself. Okay, correct. Yep, that's good. And open your arm. Mm. Yep, very good. And And open. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's pretty good. Okay, and let's go. Mm -hmm. And reverse. Okay, I think you guys understood this action as well. We'll move on to our final 
action with the tau. Alright, okay. So, uh, to begin, right, we'll start with getting the wrist and arm movement correct. So, from this position, we'll let the blade fall forward and uh, cross backwards. So, after doing one cycle of that, now we'll do it in a reverse direction. Inside. Yep. So, now we just need to get good at this by practicing. Yeah. So next is to combine it with like a rotation of the body so that we can actually let the sword go behind us and to the front, okay? So forward. Then you do a number two roughly here. And then once you come back here, uh, you do a number one again. Okay? And then we just, you know, rotate the body. I don't get it. And two. Mm -hmm. and then how it stuck here? Yeah. So once you feel like it's stuck, right, you'll rotate your body this way so that you can bring the blade forward. Oh. Yeah. Then now it unlocks itself. Then and last time. One, two, three. Hmm. Okay. So it seems like uh, we have understood the basic movements of the swords. But more importantly is to get practice. So that's the end of the third challenge and also the end of all the challenges we have today. So, how do you think we did today? Will Ushu accept us into the club? Oh yes, I think you did fine as beginners. The speed of your learning is actually quite fast. What, what about you? What do you think about them, Sean? Well, I think they will make very fine additions to the Ushu club because they have very good learning attitudes. And actually, they learn quite fast. Thank you guys for coming down today also. I had so much fun today and as a beginner, I really realised that Ushu is not that scary because before that, I always thought like all the weapons and all the moves is very difficult, very scary. But how you guys broke it down for us today really helped me to learn a lot better and made me realise that Wushu is actually still okay lah, manageable. Of course, practice is needed, but I realised that it's not actually not that scary. Yeah, I agree. I think it's a very common misconception because you know Wushu involves a lot of weapons and like jumping here and there. It's a very common misconception that it's very dangerous. But I think uh, with proper training and if we train safe, actually Wushu is a very beginner-friendly sport. You know, even like children in primary school, even before primary school, they can start picking up on it. Yes, yeah, so to add on to that, uh, NTU CSU Wushu also actively accepts beginners. So we do not really have any audition. So even if you do not have any experience, you are welcome to join the NTU Wushu family at any point of time. Thank you guys for watching this video. Remember to also check out Wushu's YouTube, Instagram and Facebook in the description box below. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to AFTH YouTube, Facebook and follow us on Instagram.